Alright guys, as you can see we're here at the 3D target range on Red Feather Falls and the reason being, obviously, is to look at the new cable back bow that just came out today. So it does look pretty good. So let's look at it in first person. I don't think, yeah, you can see just a bit past my arm. I don't know if you can see that. Let me look. Different direction maybe you can see it. So most bows I don't think you can see beyond your uh, left arm. So that's kind of cool. At least you can see this one. So let's look at it drawn back. And in third person, obviously it's very similar to the longbow, but with the cable backing, which I believe is for added strength. So we'll see uh, if it does get more penetration or anything than the longbow. And it's got a pretty wicked looking broadhead on it. All right. Let's see about taking some shots. We got a single lung shot, so that's pretty good for a moose that you can hit lungs. Or at least a lung. Alright, three single lung shots. So let's try out this deer target here. It's around 10 meters as well. both lungs so that's good you are able to drop a deer at least at close range uh, with this bow I'm pretty much just aiming it as I would the long bow right now not too low at 10 meters double lung once again and double lung so it's definitely got enough strength to take down a deer at least at close range so let's look a bit further 20 meters. Sounds like we got a doe calling. So we'll aim a bit lower. That was a clean miss. So maybe you don't have to aim as low with this as with the longbow. At least a bit further out you don't. Yeah, that, I aimed significantly higher and got single lung on that one. Single lung again. And single lung heart. Cool. Alright. So now, we're going to take it hunting. And we'll see what it can do against some live game. Alright, we've got a bull moose walking up on us. I was hoping to test it on a bit of a smaller animal first, but... Oh, he spotted us. Alright. Here we go. I'm going to step to the side of that plant. And down he goes. I obviously went for a heart shot for that. So that doesn't show a lot about the penetration, but it does show at least that it can go uh, to the heart at 8 meters. If the score will ever load. Not that I care that much about it, but I do want to see. Okay, so I guess it doesn't want us to know the score. Alright, he was small, so that's fine. So that's our first cable back bow uh, harvest. So now we'll see about maybe getting a deer or two uh, just to see what else it can do. And we've got another moose right in front of us. So I guess we'll see about getting her as well. Alright, so she's quite close actually. And directly behind a tree of course. So this could be a problem, because if she starts walking again, she's going to be right on top of us. So let's try to get her uh, killed before she does that. Dropped her as well. Alright, so I'm liking this bow already. Two shots, uh, two drops on the second biggest animal in the game, I believe. Bison are bigger than moose are, but... Well, it showed the score for her. I <laughs> guess it really wouldn't have been quite as hard to calculate, but anyway, hopefully we can find some deer now, and we'll see what it can do on them. All right, so we've got this little white-tailed buck coming in that we can test out uh, the new bow on. 
so he's closing in on 20 meters but I'll let him stop get the bow ready for whenever he does so he's probably at 15 or less by now all right I believe that was a brain shot but it easily took him down let me make sure there's nothing else coming into that call I don't see anything at first glance so let's see what he's gonna score and where we hit him oh, actually that might not have been a brain shot it was neck bone 2 on a little 109 buck so that's not too bad either it was able to penetrate like through his skull and head into the neck bone so it does definitely have some penetration at the very least so nice I think one more deer and that'll be a pretty conclusive test uh, for this bow so we'll see if we can find something else all right so it's not a deer but it is a pretty good looking moose 155 to 195 score estimate and he's closing in on 20 meters right now all right so we're gonna get ready to take our shot And down he goes. Alright, well, it wasn't the ending uh, we were expecting. I was hoping to get a deer, but won't complain about this moose. So let's see what he's going to score. 15 meter heart shot. 168, that's not too bad. Alright, so I think this looks pretty good. As far as recommendations go, I definitely would recommend this bow, especially if you want a challenge. It's a bit easier to shoot than the longbow, at least in my opinion. Uh, so there's that, and clearly it's got enough strength to take down moose as well as whitetail. So, yeah, that's my opinion. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah, it's dead. <laughs>